Mark here, and we're back with a new game called Soul Forge. For those of you who don't know what Soul Forge is, it is a game that is being developed by a pro Magic player, Brian Kibler, and the creator of Magic, uh, Richard Garfield. Um, so it's going to be on PC, obviously, since I'm playing it. There's a beta out on um, the iPad, and I think it's going to work on iPhone and Android as well. But anyway, let's get into this and we'll kind of explain what's going on. Um, right now, for the PC version, there's only two decks, and, you know, it's... We'll kind of go over them. Uh, later, you're going to be able to pick decks, and there's going to be different decks. I don't know if you can build one, but they're probably able to build one. But I'm real excited for it. Uh, I kickstarted the game, obviously, because I have the beta. And so let's get into it. So, let's go over this. So we're playing first, and the way this game works is you can play two cards a turn unless you go first, and then you can only play one. And cards have certain abilities, and they level up as the game progresses. So when we look at this card, it has three different things. So, the first thing we'll want to look at is life totals. So this is your life, this is your level. Um, so I don't know if you can see the mouse, you should be able to, but... 100 is your life, the 1 is your level, and this is the various versions of the card. So the way it works is everything that you have in your deck starts off at level 1, and every time you play something, you get its level 2 version, and when you play its level 2 version, you get its level 3. Uh, power, toughness, toughness doesn't recover at the end of the turn like in magic. Power does, however, so you deal 5 damage and then they attack and you deal 5 damage again. It works. And then cards have abilities, like at the start of your turn. Turn deals five da or deals one to four damage to each opponent. So there we are. Uh, you have cards like this that are instants, or not instants, they're more like sorceries. Um, in retrospect to magic, but again they level up, so they do damage to things. Um, and then there's cards that have certain things on them. So like you see this D. This D is defender. Obviously, it can't attack ever. Not that it would ever be able to, but like, here's what it levels up to. It levels up, it gets very big and very scary. So, you know, getting this... And... You know, you just kind of win the game when you get to that point. But it's, it's very much about planning your turns ahead. So, we could get in for early damage because this guy has an ability called Swiftness that's basically haste. And he gets real big, real fast. This is probably what we're going to play first because we gets, it gets in for some early damage. But let's just kind of look at all the cards. You know, I've played, the, played it around a little bit. The computer's on normal, so it's probably going to kick our ass because if you ask anybody that's played this game, computer normal is OP. Um... But it's good practice. I've been trying to play with it on normal, and not to mention the deck that it has is significantly better than this one, in my opinion. But anyway, um, so adjacent creature can plus two attack. You know, so you can play these in any of these five spots. Obviously, something like this is good in the middle or here. When any of these three spots, because it can hit multiple things. But for our first turn, we don't want to play it because it'll probably just die. So we're going to play a lightning worm and hit him for four. End our turn probably one of the best things that you can start with. So see, he's going to do that. My guy has to attack every turn. So we'll go through the turns again. Um, so the, basically there's a main phase, a forced combat, and then a main phase. Um, so uh, let's let's look at this now. You see this symbol here? This is the Soul Forge symbol. It says that that creature can't attack the turn it comes out. So, like in Magic, it can't attack the turn that it's played. So, if we hit Battle right now, nothing happens. They just trade with... It. Nothing happens, no, no creature attacks me like we did last turn. Um, but he gained 5 life when he pl comes into play, and this guy, uh, when it gets destroyed, he puts out another smaller version, and then a smaller version. So, he's a real pain in the ass to deal with. Um, but what we want to do is... I like leveling up Magma Hounds. Deals 2 damage to target creature and opponent controls 4 and 6. They're not bad. So we play him. We kill that. 
mean, we can get in for Lightning Worm, but I really like Scout Drone because, especially against a deck like this, um, the Scout Drone allows you to play an additional card when it levels up. So we can play it here and battle end turn. So you saw the no creatures battled there, and now it's his turn. So this thing has Trample. Breakthrough is Trample. Can't attack the turn it's played. So now we've got something else now. Now, so we want to play this guy because they get real big later. This uh, armor reduces the damage they take. So when they battle, this guy will only take three. And we'll want to play something that doesn't deal us a lot of damage. So the Sparkbot. Sparkbot has no abilities. He just gets bigger as each one goes. So, end the turn. And we really don't have much here. So we take a little bit of damage. Uh, because he played the Grove, it got bigger. Um, so we'll want to play a kill card. I mean, kill cards are important. Um, and then we want to get rid of... Let's see, what does this guy level up to? A 10-8? This guy, I think, is a 10-10 on his second one. Yeah. So, we'll play him. And that kind of sucks, but that's alright. It's not too bad. So, you see we just leveled up and we draw some, we drew some uh, level 2 cards now. Echo Wisp is freaking broken, but that's okay. So, we'll play this guy on any of these. I mean, really, it doesn't really matter. That allows us to play an extra card. That plays a card, and that plays a card, and we do damage there, and we battle. We end our turn, and you can see we draw, we drew a whole bunch of level one stuff, which doesn't really help us, but that's okay. Um, again, I like getting these guys leveled up; they do a lot for us, and then doesn't really matter, but I don't know, I won't even bother with that. It's battle. Say so everything should wipe itself. And then we'll want something out on the field. How big do you get? Can you become a 911? Um let's drop the 5-5. Five five. Okay. Um so Flame Shaper Acolyte a new card. Uh, whenever you play a level 1 spell, you may have it deal 3 damage to another creature, have it deal 2. So, I mean, basically he's going to die. We're okay with that. Let's do that there. And we need something to kill that guy. But I don't really want to take 7 or 8. Um, it's just a matter of taking... Reoccurring damage or not. I will get rid of that. Okay. So now we're starting to get some lightning sparks at level 2, which will help us kill some stuff. Um, let's play you there. Um, 8 damage kind of makes it difficult, but. Good enough. There's no trample there. So I guess we'll play that there. Okay, good. Now we're starting to get some stuff. Yep. This guy kills something when he comes into play. Kind of sucks a little bit, but what are you going to do? You do what? F two? So we play the scout drone there... no. Play the scout drone there. We play the... 10-10 ten, ten there. And we play... the hound. Let's see. 2 damage. Where's 2 gonna help us at? 
guess there. It's our best bet. Battle. And we're gonna get hit really hard next turn, but like I said, there's not a whole lot we can do. Okay, so this guy does six damage. Um We need to think this out. I can do this and do that. These guys will trade. We'll get a flesh fiend. And I drop a 6 7 like over here. And I don't think you can kill me then. So it looks like that's what we have to do. best bet to stay in the game. Although... So we want to play that guy there. And I want to play my level 1 somewhere. I still take 9 sucks because I think he wins no matter what now. Um Yeah, he hits me next turn and wins. But yeah, so that's the basic idea of the game. Like I said, his deck is significantly better. Let's see if we can get his there we go. Yeah. I like this deck a lot better. Because you can do stuff like that. Turn one. And we saw that this guy is the same thing that gets things. Or gets the copies of himself. Um, this is a kill card. Destroy level one, level two, level three. This is the guy Trample. This guy has regeneration ability that recovers his health by that amount each turn. Each one of your turns. Um, Enrage is giant growth. Um... Except it gets bigger and better. It seems good. Um, uh, this guy's really cool if you level it up properly. Uh, whenever you play a level 1 card, you may have target creatures get plus 2 plus 2. But we could basically just kill a card and then drop like a zombie infantry gets big. I don't really think she gets big. She gets, no, she doesn't really get much bigger. So we'll play the zombie infantry we'll call the week. And end the turn. So like obviously there's a lot of planning going into the deck because if you do something like this, you know, it doesn't get much bigger late game. You know, it's still at seven, eight, nine. I mean it really doesn't get huge, but if you gamble and do something like this, it goes 4, 7, 11, or things like the Dragon's Egg, you know, last game. Um, so let's see, we want to do something like, huh, I'm thinking that there, that there, they battle, both of my guys live, we end the turn. So there's, yeah, but there's a lot of really cool things um, with the deck. You know, each one of these abilities have their, or each one of these cards have very unique abilities that... Um, so we want to play a Flesh Fiend again. I feel like that's a good idea. And Grove Hunters gives it plus one, plus one. So let's do that. Give our Cavern Hydra plus one, plus one. And they battle. And my Cavern Hydra wins. There we go. So we just leveled up. He's going to level up this turn. Alright. Um, so let's battle first. So that guy dies. And we'll play a Flesh Fiend and a Bone Scythe Reaper. And 
hopefully get some good level 2 stuff. Okay. So let's go Flesh Fiend there. And... Hydra. Because I like my Hydras. And we'll end. Ouch. So... I want to play this guy, so we'll do that, that, and I'll give him plus there. So this is another card that's just kind of a, do I play this early or do I wait? Because he goes 1, 0, 15, and 25, 25 with Breakthrough and Regenerate, which is awesome. Uh, let's go Echo Wisp. I put another Echo Wisp out. They're kind of stupid. And then once it hits level 3, it fills every empty slot. Um, and then we'll do... Battle. Everybody dies. Now, this is the opportunity to get ahead, but I really don't care. So we'll play him. Awesome. Because we're going to look at the late game rather than the present game. So let's drop a 10 9 there. He'll die. And we'll drop a 16 14 there. And that 1614 has a whole lot going on. Um, not sure if we give it plus three, plus three. I'll take that. That'll keep the zombie guy alive. And then... Um, let's battle. Keeps both of my guys in there. I'll play the Hydra, because that's something that he really can't let go. He's got no trample. Um. I think he's going to hit really hard. Um. So my best bet is just kind of placing things where I can. So we'll have to wait. Yo. I need to kill this guy this turn. Or bad things happen to me. <laughs> so, I'll play this guy there. Yes, we'll replace my own bone scythe. That kind of sucks, but let's battle that out. So he won with the awesome, scary lightning worm. But, as you can see, computer normal is OP. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the series. Uh, I plan on doing this kind of as the game evolves. And hopefully as more people get it, I can kind of play the two-player thing. But I don't really know how the two-player thing works. Because like, I don't know if this finds people online to play or what. But... Um... Oh, let's see. Ah, yeah, it's two players on the same screen. So, anyway, there's going to be a lot of changes to it, and I'll kind of cover them as the game evolves, but let me get, let me know what you guys think, and if you enjoy it, go check it out. I'll try and have a link in the description, and I'll see you later.